Right, so we've driven the Focus around for a little while now and the oil's not actually too bad, so it'd normally be really black and really horrible, but I think he's had an oil change recently, but what we're going to do is change the oil anyway, as a matter of course. Um, we'll do a little interim service today, um, so we'll change the air filter, change the oil filter, obviously change the oil, and then we should be ready to roll it out again. Let's get it done. Right, so obviously an oil change is a job that pretty much anyone can do at home on a jack. I mean, obviously, please always use axle stands, um, safety first. I'm a bit old now, back hurts. I'm gonna use my ramp, but the same principle applies. First job is to find a sump plug. It's here on the Focus, and we always have a little poke around, see if you can find the oil filter. Luckily for us, there's plenty of access. So what we're gonna do is crack off the nut, let the oil out, and then take the filter off, change the filter, Fill it up. Right, so one good tip is to always make sure your drain pan is big enough for the capacity of the car. We've all done it. Right, while the oil's draining out, we can talk about the sump plug. Now, all sump plugs come with a little seal, or it could be rubber, it could be a copper washer, it could be a crush washer. It's important that you replace that seal to stop the oil leaking. Um, in our case, it's a rubber seal, but it's actually easier just to buy a new sump plug, as in a lot of cases. So we've bought a new one, we're gonna put that in, but what we've got to do is make sure that's torqued to the right spec. It's 25 Newton meters on this car, so we'll set our torque wrench and get it back in. Right, so the sump plug's torqued up. Um, now we're gonna pull off the oil filter. And for that, you just need a filter wrench. There's loads of different types. This one's ideal for this situation, so I'm gonna use this. So we'll get that on, pull the filter off, and then replace that as well. Right, so we've got the oil filter off. Um, we can put on a new one. Um, it's always a good idea with these new filters is to fill them up with a little bit of oil to prime them. Lube up the ring a bit for a better seal. And the idea of that is when you fill them up, if you put a bit of oil in there, when you first start the engine, there will already be oil in the filter to circulate round. So it's just a safety precaution. If you can do it, always do it. Then what we'll do is once that's on, we could put the under tray on. If we had one, we haven't, as you might have noticed. Um, we'll drop it down, then we'll put the oil in and then we're ready to do the air filter. Easy. Right, for spin on type filters, always just put them on hand tight. You don't need to put any tools, you don't need to over tighten them. They just go on hand tight. It's a three cylinder eco boost engine and these engines have what they call wet belts. So there's a basically like a timing belt, but they go through a bath of oil. Now, if you chuck in any old 10W30, 5W30, any old oil in there, what this can do is deteriorate the wet belt. Now, changing these is a massive job. It's like an engine out. 
and it can take a, even a main dealer or a garage up to 14 hours to do. It's certainly not one for the home mechanic. So if you're doing an oil change, use 5W20, and always, if you're buying a Focus EcoBoost, check the service history to make sure they've been using the right oil throughout. It will save you a lot of money in the long run. Right, now we're going to fill up the oil. So the capacity on this car is about 4.6 litres with a new filter. Um, I've put in just over four litres, because um, what we do now is we'll check it on the dipstick as we go, as it settles through the engine, and then just top up as necessary. Easy as that. Right, so that's the oil done. So now all we've got to do is the air filter and that'll complete our mini service. Again, it's a really easy job. Shouldn't really take any more than five minutes, this. Right, so as I said, air filter next. Really easy job. All you need is a seven mil socket and there's four little bolts on the air box. So we can take the lid off, swap them out, put the lid back on, job done. Right, so that's the air filter done, and that's the mini service done. As you can see, it was pretty much well overdue. Um, when you get rid of your oil, make sure you do it responsibly at a government recycling centre, not put it down the drain, and uh, yeah, we're good to go.